We've seen the prices rise, uh, as, as you have said, and, and, and as everybody's following, it's 53% uh, in wheat price increase just over the last couple of months. So clearly those countries that are major importers uh, from Ukraine and Russia will feel the impact the most. Egypt is the largest importer of wheat worldwide. It imports about 70% of its wheat from Ukraine and Russia. And that wheat accounts for 35% of daily calories per person. But it's not only uh, Ukraine, I mean, it's not only Egypt. Most people will maybe not know that Indonesia is the second largest wheat importer from Russia. So um, again, they are thinking through what the implications are. But other countries are similarly affected. It's Georgia, Lebanon, Armenia, DRC, many African countries, uh, South Sudan, and up to 90% of their imports come from Russia. So there will be massive disruptions. Now, while most countries are likely to see these most immediate effects, the effects on the global food supply will be much greater and much longer lasting. This is not just a short term uh, issue. And so my first really important message to everyone on the call is how serious this will become will greatly depend on what kind of policies uh, countries are going to put in place in the next few weeks.